Because what's crazy to me is if his hustle is putting stuff in people's drink, he made a liquor. I mean, that's the illest shit in the world that everybody was partying and you don't know what was in that drink. And if he was pause undercover gay, because I didn't know it. And obviously, if he was knocking men out and they were waking up violated, he's making somebody gay that doesn't want to be gay. Yeah, so involuntarily getting violated doesn't make you gay. Now, if you consented to it, you liked it, and you wanted it, now that's a totally different story, B. But just because you're a victim of circumstance and somebody took something from you against your own will, I'm not gonna sit here and call you gay for it. Now, if you wanted it to happen, that's a different story. So I'm like, what was in them drinks? And then I'm starting to think like, damn, when did hip hop start to lose its masculinity? When did dudes, and again, no disrespect to nobody, but like tough niggas started wearing dresses and pocketbooks, like, like maybe that could be the reason. And I'm, you know, I'm just thinking it through, like maybe that could be the reason why hip hop took a turn for the feminine. Cause that shit, if homie was really putting shit in people's drinks and he's making the liquor, You know, they, you know, and again, I don't know, and I'm not even saying it to be funny, but they saying, you know, homie was putting shit in, in motherfuckers baby oil. So how could you trust that person to serve you drinks at such a, a, a big scale? So I'm remembering Nori so adamant about me get, taking a shot of Ciroc and I'm like, nah, and I brought my own. And, and now y'all can understand why I always want to make my own. So I brought my own liquor. You know what I'm saying? I was taking shots of my own. And then what happened, I made him take shots of Cir uh, Ciroc. And then he ended up getting too drunk. Talking about take your shirt off and all this type shit. It's on tape. So I, I, it ain't like you just, you just naturally start to think of things. And then I, I, I was thinking there was this one time that when my daughter was 16, uh, Jay had a show. And my daughter wanted to go. So I'm like, yo, I'm not gonna deprive my daughter. So I, you know, I hollered at Jay, sent the kite, and told him I wanted to go to a show with my daughter. And they accommodated me, accommodated me to the fullest. People were really surprised to see me there, took pictures with everybody. But, and again, Emery's my brother, so I would hate to think that he was fucking around like that, pause. But he kept asking me somebody, that was the first time I had tasted that douce. And I got ridiculously drunk to the extent, and my daughter and I were talking about this the other day, that I was like, yo, I, I don't get this drunk. Why am I so drunk? And I ended up, pause, wrestling with Kevin Hart. He paused nigga got me in a chicken wing. And I remember uh, Vaughn taping that shit. And I'm like, yo, why are you taping, Vaughn? So I'm thinking, I'm like, damn, because Homie makes drinks too, and, and, and again, just if this is true, these are the things that I'm like just reflecting on, and if, like if, if I wouldn't have played everything completely by the book, complete honor, then I could have been compromised. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. Now to think that Nori, Emory Jones or Kevin Hart was conspiring against Dame Dash to get him in some kind of compromising position. I ain't gonna lie, it's a little bit hard for me to believe. Now, I do understand the point that he's making though that, you know, you know, just keep your awareness up because people can put you in a compromising position, especially when you're in a position of power, pause. You know, they said that Bill Cosby was putting Quaaludes and women's drinks back in the 70s and 80s and all that but you know it's the 2020s and nowadays you got men drugging men so you know anything's possible at this point 
But let me know in the comments how y'all feel about it. If y'all had any experience with this, if y'all believe this, let me know. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.